In this video, you will learn how to make a fillable PDF form without Acrobat, which is a very expensive software. I will show you how you can create a fillable PDF form by using a free and open source software. Fillable PDF files have many applications. You can use this to get information from your potential clients or students, but you can also use fillable PDF files for creating educational resources. For example, if you are teaching online, you can provide text field to your students to put their answers. First, I'm going to show you two examples. The first one is a course admission form. And I have made this example just to illustrate some of the commonly used form fields. And then I will show you how I created this form. So the first type of field which we use in a fillable form is a text field. For example, I can type my name here, then I can write my email. So these are text fields. Then there is another very commonly used field, which is checkboxes. And checkboxes are used when you allow user to select multiple options. So I can select multiple options in this, even all three options. Then these are radio buttons. And radio buttons are used when you allow user to select only one option. So either I can select morning or evening. When I select the second option, the first option is deselected. Another very commonly used field is drop down list where you can select any one or even multiple options if you allow users, but user have to select from given options. Then there is a date field where you allow a certain date format and user can put the date here. And then there is another text field but the difference here is that this text field is a single line text field and this text field is a multi-line text field. Although you can control the number of characters you allow in this text field, which I'm going to show you when we create this form. Now, another type of forms can be used for educational resources. So this is one page from my educational resource. So I have created few educational resources in past for Amazon, KDP, and for Teachers Pay Teachers. And you can watch my other videos where I have explained that you can use Amazon KDP and Teachers Pay Teachers to make some extra income. So in this educational resource, I have provided my students a space to put their answers on this PDF. So they can type here their answers. And if you want to be more fancy, you can put a line in between, just as on the right hand side, I have put a line. So these are two example applications of fillable PDF forms. And now let's see how you can create these forms. But before that, my name is Tahir. And if this is your first time, I create videos for students and teachers about educational technology tools. If this subject is of interest to you, I would highly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. And now let us see how we can create these forms. So the software which you have to download is called LibreOffice. Just type LibreOffice in Google and this is the download link. Click on that and then my operating system is Windows so I can click on download and I can install this LibreOffice. And now if I type Libre in my search bar, these are various applications of LibreOffice. And the one similar to Word is LibreOffice Writer. I click on that. Now this is the application. Now first you have to write the text whatever you want to write. So I'm going to open a file in which I have written the text. And now this is the text which I want to type in my form. And now I want to create fields. Now the easiest way to work in LibreOffice when you are creating a fillable PDF form is by putting your form toolbar on the left hand side. So if I click on view, and then toolbars. Now there are few uh, toolbars which are related to creating forms. One is form controls, form design, and form navigation. Form navigation is used for very large forms. Form design is already selected, which is at the bottom, but let's select this form controls. And now this is the form controls toolbar which will appear. Now we have form controls and form design. Now the first field is a text field. So this is text box. I click on that, I will get this cross here and now I can select the area where I want to put this field. Now, when you start creating fields, 
this icon will be selected this is called design mode and if you want to test this field you have to come out of the design mode so you click on design mode and now you can test this field that it is actually working and when you select design mode now you can design your fillable form so let's make another field so either you can just approximately make the new field or you can also copy and paste so let's delete this now the easiest way to duplicate a field is you select the field right click copy then you place your cursor where you want to paste this field right click and paste and you can adjust by using the space bar a little bit and if you want to have a very precise control you can also do that and i will show you in the next example now here i want to place check boxes so this is check box field i click on that i get this cross here and i place my check box in this area again i can copy and i can paste and i can paste two times now these are perfectly aligned but if they are not what you can do is you can click on that and you have all the options here for example if instead of check box i want to write my course name here let's say algebra i can put in this label area and if i want to have a very accurate position of this field i can select here so you first get an approximate position on the page so this is 0.7 and then you can play with this to find the exact position where you want to paste and then if you don't see this complete text written it means your width is not proper you can change the width as well for example this is 4.23 if you want all of your fields to be of same width you can select here let's say 4 cm and now in a similar way you click on this radio button then you select some area here you click on that let's say i want to put morning here and now let's put a radio button at a rough position and if you have selected this help lines in this uh, design area then when you move you can see these lines you can also turn on this grid and snapping to the grid so these are also a few options and as you can see that now there are very small dots are appearing on the screen which can help you align your fields now first let's make this to evening now for radio buttons we want our user to be able to select only one so therefore one important thing is you have to put the same group name on all of your radio buttons which belong to one particular selection for example i want my user to select either morning or evening so i can put a group name for example timings on both radio buttons so i write timings here and close this and now i click on this and in the group name i write timings so same word and then to check you can come out of the design mode and you select one a dot will appear now you select the other one if you have select the proper group name only one will be selected then you can also test these that multiple selection is allowed so as you can see that how easy it is to create a fillable pdf form in libreoffice and now we want to put a drop down list here so i go back to design mode and you can select this list box select this and then you place the cursor and make a rectangle where you want to put the drop down list now for drop down list the important thing is list entries you can play with other fields as well if you want change the size change the position and these kind of things but for drop down list in libre office this thing is very important you click here and now this text box type thing will appear and now you put your options one at each line for example we have two options to select a male teacher or a female teacher and we click okay now we can close this and if you want some label you can also put a label come out of the design mode and now i have this drop down list where i have two options i can select one now go back to design mode and now this is date field i click on that and i insert a date here a date field will appear here i can double click on that and i can select a few options but normally it's a very long range minimum to maximum this is default date so you can play around with these options 
and finally for multiple lines what you can do is you select the same field and you make it a little larger just like that so by default it will select multiple lines now I double click on that and now I scroll down and this is the option multi line or single line so the second important thing is maximum text length if zero is selected it means that there is no maximum limit but if I select for example 10 now what will happen is let's come out of the design mode now I only have 10 characters here I cannot type beyond this so if you want to put for example a limit of 2000 characters every letter is a character every space is a character so you can put whatever limit you want but the important thing is that if 0 is selected it means that there is no limit now I have selected 0 and now I can type as many character as I want there is no limit let's go back to design sometimes you want to change the background color to make it a little prominent to do that we have an option of background color here and then you can select any color now once you have designed your form let's delete this you can simply click on this export directly to PDF and now a PDF is created just give it a name new and now if I click on that and now we have created a fillable PDF form this is our form you can change options you can select anything as you can see it is working perfectly fine so this is how you create a fillable PDF form using LibreOffice for free now for the second example I created this page in Canva you can create your resource here and then you download this as a PNG file and then you open a new file in Libre Writer and you insert your PNG insert image and this is the PNG I downloaded from Canva click open now you can adjust this if it is not of proper size you can change the size a little bit you can stretch it so let me stretch this a little bit and now you can simply put your fields here I click the text field area and I place a field here just like that create another one so within a few minutes you can create this resource you can resize this if you want to make them a little bit of equal size just like that and if you want to put a line you select line from here you place a line here you select the color of the line let's say black and you select the thickness of the line just by clicking on this up arrow you can change the thickness of the line and now your fillable form is ready simply export this as PDF just like before so this is how to make a fillable PDF form without Acrobat for free by using LibreOffice. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.